Do you know who Adam Twenty Two is? Yeah. Shit. Good thing that we're drinking that. <laughs> All right, take two. So Adam Twenty Two obviously runs the No Jumper podcast. Yeah. He's married. He's married to Lena the Plug or Lena the Plug. I don't know how you say mm-hmm. her name. Who's also a corn star? They have another podcast called Plug Talk where they have a girl on, mm-hmm. and after they finish the podcast, they all they have a threesome. Okay. So that's been the arrangement for a long time. Adam has been on air previously, saying that he has too much money to allow his girl to get banged by another guy. Ever have a dude be in your scenes? No. No. We got a one way thing going here. One way thing. I mean, we're monogamous in our private lives, and then we do shit on camera with other yeah. girls. Right. I got too much money to have her getting dunked <laughs> by some fucking <laughs> linebacker. I can't do it. Should I use that same logic on you? I've got too much money to let my man do this. If you want, if you want to cancel plug talk, that'd be fine. The reason that we haven't made a video on this for a while is because I don't particularly care what people decide to do in the bedroom. A lot of people have been clowning Adam for what he's done. Now, personally, okay, if I got with a bi girl, I don't think I would even entertain the idea of bringing another girl into this situation because there's only going to be so much time, uh, so many girls that you both bang together that she's going to turn around to you and say, we've slept with 100 women together. When are you going to let me sleep with a guy? And I'm just not going to allow that to happen. It's just not going to happen. But you could lay the card straight from the start anyway. That, that's what and I'm saying. Then she can't expect it. She, but she still will. I mean, that, uh, apparently that's what happened with Adam. But she got no leg to stand on, really. Doesn't really matter, though. And with Adam's situation, that's how it was for a long time. Mm-hmm. Then they got married. As soon as they got married, that's when she's she was like, I'm asleep. So she did a scene with Jason Love. Jason Love, you guys might have seen him online. <laughs> He's in memes or whatever. Sabi's clearly seen him. <laughs> All right, Jason, we're done. It was great. Yeah. Had a blast. Way more fun than expected. Holy shit. Ooh, uh, I could say the same about you. I'm about to go get a massage now. Same. I definitely need a massage. <laughs> Jason knows not the kind of guy you want around your girl, okay? And they did a scene together. And he, so as far as I'm aware, Adam contacted him. They set the price. It's, it's, it's even crazy to pay for another guy to bang your girl, but whatever. Lena wants to do this. She said it's going to be good for her uh, her career. They're going to make a lot more money. I really don't know how much more money Adam and Lena so want. So she just went up and done it without without his permission or anything? No, she got his permission. She got his blessing. Oh, she did? Yeah. Right. She got his, she got his Is blessing. Is that why people are, are, are grilling him? Oh, no. People, well, yeah. I mean, obviously people are grilling him because this six foot whatever black dude with a, a, a <laughs> schlong like donkey kong piped his girlfriend on camera not only did he pipe her he c- piped her i don't camera. know what that is can you take a guess you're you're having sex with a guy your mom's gonna watch this so i'm gonna try just say cut it out just say it to me and cut it out because oh, we're talking about it anyway she really knows we're talking about it i hope no one's kids are watching this Anyway, um, so yeah, and that apparently wasn't planned. And then, apparently, she started licking the off of her finger, which is just <laughs> crazy to me. And Adam has seen this video. Now, look, I don't want. I don't want to shame people for like having open relationships. I'm not here to shame Adam. I'm more here to just look at the hilarity that has ensued following this. I can't lie to you. I found some of it quite funny. The funniest thing that I saw out of this was from, do you know who DJ Academics is? Yeah. DJ Academics doesn't like Adam. <laughs> so obviously, this was a god. This was a godsend to him. And my man did play-by-play basketball commentary on Adam's girl getting piped by no. Jason Love. Look, That's not the video you're going to show, is it? I'm, I'm going to show a couple of videos. Obviously, I'm not going to show the, the scene. The scene is Get- on websites. I want to see it. You can watch it in your own time. I'm not watching it again. I've seen it. The group chat saw it. I don't think I could recover from that personally. <laughs> There's no, I couldn't be with my girl after that. Wow. 
That's a whole lot of meat going into your girlfriend, man. That shit was crazy to me. He had her eyes rolling in the back of her head. He was doing all sorts. Anyway, I'll play DJ Academic's commentary. This no, shit. that's what I wanted to see. Oh, I, I wasn't talking about tell. the phone video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Steady strokes. He's giving her, like, right now she's getting penetrated about 12 to 18 inches. Okay? He's mixing it up. Couple mid strokes, couple short strokes, then a couple deep strokes to get her right. Okay, her eyes are starting to kind of look she's like she's taking deep breaths. Yeah, she's taking deep breaths. She might be going in and out of consciousness. As a referee, we got to look. Should we call it? Let's see what's going on. She's caressing his chest. She's rubbing on his muscles. She's rubbing on muscles that Adam don't even have. Okay, bet. I bet. Oh, is that the side of his face? Oh, my God. What is he saying to her? Oh, he's talking her through it. You can do this, baby. He's like a midwife. Oh, she's yeah. grabbing the ankles. Yes. Oh, he's no, bro. she's grabbing the ankles. That is a is that it? Oh, yeah, that's a violation on. I mean, if you go to his stream, he did a full play-by-play -play commentary. Oh my god. That is a violation on biblical levels. That's that I I couldn't recover. I just couldn't. So has he had anything to say about this? Like, what the backlash he's getting online right now? He's been leaning into it. What do you mean by leaning into it? Okay, Lena, I'm so proud of you doing your first ever BBC scene that I decided that I wanted to get you a little something nice. Open your eyes. What? This? For me? Oh, my God. Babe, I really get to keep this? This is for you. Oh. Anything for my queen. Oh, my God. I have a nicer hair than you now. I love it. Thank you. Each to their own. If this is how people want to live, it's, it's not normal though. Like they, it's just not normal. And the thing is, that she started with Jason Love, right? Yeah. Which is that's a crazy one to start with, right? I don't know where you go from there. It can only get crazier now. It can. Uh, we're gonna start seeing her in all sorts of situations. I honestly, if I, but jokes aside, this might. I know Adam's trying to make light of it. And maybe he's okay with it. He seems to be flip. Like when I watched his podcast, because he interviewed her after she got ran. She, you know, she was with Jason Love. The interview was awkward. Imagine interviewing your wife after she's been piped by another man. I know. That it's it's just crazy. weird. It's actually just weird. The questions he was asking her, I could see. I, I don't. Maybe I'm reading into it too much because that's how I would be. But I could see the pain on his face. I, I, and I don't know if he was trying to mask it because she was having a good time. The problem here yeah. is that we've had more sex since I fucked Jason than we usually have in like a month. <laughs> time we talk about it, you get a boner and then we have sex. No. I feel like you're trying to assert your dominance over the fact that I had sex with somebody else, but it's still like part of it turns you on. Like, oh, she fucked someone else. This is hot. There's something about it where when you when you know your girl is not fucking anybody else which at this point and after seven years i feel quite confident that you're not going to run off and cheat on me it creates like a little bit of competition in your mind even not knowing necessarily like how much you enjoyed it or how great it was or whatever it's still kind of like oh like that competition thing that's like a real biological mm -hmm. thing like I no told i want to beat it up i told adam that he can have anal the day the podcast the scene comes out he she she has allowed him to sleep with multiple women. I guess that was the arrangement. I would not say allowed. That was the arrangement they had. So some people are like, well, how can he complain when he slept with hundreds of beautiful women and his wife has been there for all of them? And uh, even, even not been there, like he's, he's filmed scenes with girls or whatever. But I, there's something about another man's penis entering your girlfriend that just... I can't explain and it to people that are like, oh, it's not fair. I can't explain it to you. It's, it's no, it's just, it's uncharted territory. We don't do that. Yeah, but it's just like, would he have watched it and watched her enjoying it? And then he's going to sleep with her and just, I don't know, is he doing it as good? Is it hard to go back to a, you know, reasonably sized white after dealing with a baby arm? <laughs> is it upsetting? No. Is it, is it hard to go back to regular life? So first of all, I wouldn't say that yours is regular. I would say yours is definitely like above average. So let's yes. give you that. Yes. Every time we take your pants off on Pulak Talk, the girl's like, oh, I'm surprised. You but know? for a white guy. For they don't say that. Podcaster. They don't say that, but they're thinking What that. is this? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Someone called you boyfriend. Good boyfriend 
once, and I feel like that was a good compliment because nobody wants like an outrageously large the all the time. Right. Um, it wasn't hard to come back to. I was in a lot of pain for a few days, mm -hmm. so having sex was, you know, it was reupholstered. You're you were a little traumatized by me being like, "Ouch!" <laughs> Hold on. At first, yeah, <laughs> but that did go away pretty quickly. It took like three or four days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel like it snapped back? Well, you never had the. He said is the sex has been better since they did that. And I don't know if it was Jason Love or him that said that she felt a little bit more stretched out. But I, I wanted to sink into the floor when I was watching it. I actually wanted to sink into the floor. I, 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 I just wanted to say, God save this man. His soul is in the depths right now. Wow. There's no way. And she's on the internet for the world to see. I f honestly, I, I know we're joking about it and that, and ev you know, each to their own. I don't want to necessarily judge people for their, you know, people want to have open relationships. I couldn't do it myself. No, I absolutely couldn't. Not. I could I find not. the whole concept strange. I find it very, very strange. I find it strange as well. Uh, I, I've, if I was with a bi girl, and I've, I've, I've dated bi girls before, and they put forward that they want to sleep with other women, um, with me involved obviously the proposition sounds very attractive to have two girls but you need to think of the long-term ramifications okay. man. what about if she said i just want to sleep with another girl without you there no no the only way i would agree to something like that is if we're we're sharing that's the only way i'd agree to it what, what if it was you what In that situation. what my man says i want to go sleep with another guy no another another girl and you're not there no, but I was just saying it because she's asking to sleep with another girl, not sleep with another guy, yeah. without you there. So if I was with a guy, it would have to be him saying he wants to sleep with another guy. Yeah. And of course, yeah. I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> if and if he that. asks to sleep with another girl, of course, I'm going to say no. Yeah. no like, no. okay, you can go do that, but I won't be here when you get back. It's Absolutely just, not. For you, for you I, I can understand it for like a girl you're seeing, you know, you're kind of having a fling with her and she wants to bring another girl into it because it's not that serious. But if I was marrying somebody... It's always serious. Anyway, it, if it wasn't supposed to be serious, right? Let's just say... That then you're just sleeping together. That's what I'm saying. Let's say that you're, you're dating, right? And... No, dating is serious. No, it's not. Yes, it is. If you go on a date today, it's not serious. No, not on a date, but it's your, if you're dating, then of course... And dating can become serious. Yes, you, if you're dating, you should be having the intention of this going somewhere. I, ideally, but some people just date sometimes and they have casual things. Then it's just a casual thing, it's not dating. You can go on a date with a casual person. No, but what I'm saying is that if you're just sleeping with someone, you're just sleeping with someone. If you're dating them, going out on dates and stuff, then you're, you're hanging out with the intention of potentially blossoming into something. That's obviously not true. Yes, it is true. It's true sometimes, not all the time. Then it's not, then it's not the definition dating then. What's the definition of dating? Going out on dates and getting to know someone to see if it's going to blossom into something. You can't use the word to describe the word. But that's the whole no point, point of it. Dating is you're seeing someone. Yeah, but seeing someone has, has uh, it varies. Are you telling me every single person you've dated or every single person that I've you've been, been on dates with, it's been serious every time? Anybody that I've been dating, I've been dating with the intention of it transpiring into a relationship. Every single time? Yes, I don't waste my time unless I could see a future with someone. Okay, that's fine for you and that's good, but people do date casually. I don't understand. Then you're just messing about, you're just, you're just fooling about. It's different. I wouldn't, I wouldn't class it as dating. I would class it as fooling about. If I, okay, let me ask you this. If I say to you, Sabi, I'm going on a date tonight with person X. That's a first date, it's different. No, I didn't say it's the first time we're going on a date. I'm saying we're going on a date. Yeah. They haven't specified the amount of time. Do you uh -huh. say to me, is it serious? I'm like, nah, kind of just dating. Then that's, that's, anyway. It's still a date, right? We're going anyway. bowling, bowling's a date. Dinner's a date. Yeah, I know, but then you're just fooling around with someone. You're just hanging out. You're, dating is supposed to be leading to relationships. Uh, yeah, but it, it can be that, but you can also date somebody casually. Okay. So if you're dating someone casually, if you're seeing someone casually, you know, whether you're going, taking them out, you to enjoy in the city or if you're sitting indoors, then I don't think it's a big deal. But I wouldn't put the label dating on it. 
if you've wow. not got to that stage. I think dating is when you get to a point where you're both sort of exclusively seeing each other and not really entertaining other people. Whereas if you're just hanging out with someone, then it's different. What about people in open relationships that go on dates? I find that weird. I find it's, that shit weird. It's not about weird, is it? Does it exist it or not? Weird. It exists, but it's weird in my opinion. So a booty calls at 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Um, yeah, it's not... You can find it weird. That's the way you see the world, but that's just what happens. Like People in open relationships still date other people. It's just casually dating. There can be casual dating and you can be dating with the intention to settle down with somebody. I'm not saying that one is wrong or one is right. I'm just acknowledging that both exist. Both I, and I get what you're saying, but I just wouldn't use the term dating if, the, if it's casual. Because it doesn't apply to you. You don't date casually. No, if people are dating casually or whatever you, term you're using, I just would not use the word dating within it. But anyway, moving on. Okay, well... To you yours point, term yeah go yeah, for it yeah if you're dating someone casually and you're just seeing where it's seeing what's what then i don't think it's a massive deal that she wants to bring another girl into a relationship but i think if you're dating with the intention to turn this into something or it's your long-term partner i think you should shut that shit down straight away mm -hmm. the reason i'm saying that is because if your partner male or female is bi and they've agreed to a one-sided thing where we just sleep with this gender because that's your preferred gender, not mine. I think at some point they're going to say, hey, you've slept with X amount of people. When is it my turn? You said that you was going to let her do it once. And then if you, you have the call, if you don't want her f no more dudes. So what you going to do? Is this going to happen again? Now, the one thing that I definitely am going to do at some point is fuck her with another guy on that's what talk. I was, that was my next question that definitely you, yeah, is gonna happen went at a certain point. my next question because like what'd you do to train thing i'm I, I, not a train dub, like a we, we just gonna like you know double team her probably like she's down even if you've agreed it beforehand and the worst thing is adam got married to her and then it happened and he kind of had to he had to agree to it is he gonna go through a divorce to his newly wedded wife after they slept together they slept with a hundred people it's a it's a it's an L situation. I just wouldn't do it if somebody that I am gonna call my girlfriend. I just I I think it's a recipe for disaster. Do you wanna see what Jason Love said? Yeah, go on. Oh, I actually saw the video released yesterday. I saw it. Um, first of all, wow. <laughs> um, second of all, who whose idea was it to end an? Okay, so I guess her had been stretched out in a while. So man, I was doing all the stretching. It's like my starting to get numb, and I was like, I was like, yo, we have to keep going. It was going so long that it was, it was, it was nothing I could do. It was like the, the numbness I didn't I didn't notice, and I'm like, yo, it's about you know. And then hey, it, it happened. It happened. So the was not planned. Nope. But then she got freaky with it. She started eating it, you know, doing the nasty. She got into the moment. You know how it is once you get into the moment. It's like, you know, it's all, all no hose bar. Let's go. Do you think that you f her better than Adam did? Well, obviously, yes. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he probably felt different with Adam for her because love is involved emotions. But as for the physical aspect of getting f obviously. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. If, do you know what, yeah? I know, you know a lot of the time that they're on these dating podcasts, they're like, oh, I want a girl with a, a low body count, whatever. I think I would be, I think if I met a girl that had 10, sort of 10 guys versus what, uh, as the other girl was sort of just Jason Love, I'd probably go with the girl with 10, with 10 guys. I don't think you can recover from Jason Love. <laughs> Fuck all that, man. That's all wrong. Literally. I, I don't know. I don't. I feel. I feel sad for Adam in a way. You can't though. How I, can you? He brought this on himself, I guess. And he's really lent into it. Some of the shit he's been posting on Twitter is crazy. Proper leaning into it. Like, mm. Even offering her up to be banged by other streamers is like I don't know if he's joking or not. Because I understand that like, everybody's going after him right now. He's getting the piss taken out of him everywhere. He could either lean into it and hope that this goes away unfortunately in this situation you know a lot of times when i'm like let people say what they want to say lean into it it'll go away mm. in this situation i don't think it will yeah but he, i think he's not 
sort of backing down to that to it. Do you know what I mean? It's I think he's trying to keep a strong face on. Yeah, the thing is that people take people do all sorts of depraved things in the bedroom, right? Everyone's got their secrets and their skeletons, so. It's, I'm not gonna come in here and shit on the guy. It's definitely not something I would ever do. It's nothing. That, it's something I'd never entertain. There's no. There's no chance in her. My future wife's watching this. There's no way in hell I would even ever entertain her sleeping with another guy. It's just it wouldn't happen. But if people are into that, apparently Adam get, Adam got turned on by it, and his wife wanted him to jerk off to it, which is wow. crazy in my opinion. But that's what you're into. Don't kink shame, we don't kink shame around here. Well, I, sometimes I do, but I'm not going to kink shame Adam. I do think it's that this, this whole situation with his girl is crazy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think this is going to go away for Adam, especially because I think she's probably going to want to do more scenes after this. I mean, of course she will. Apparently this has done like great numbers for her label. I was going to say, so. if it's going to make a lot of money, then it's a no-brainer. She might even go back for round two with Jason. Oh, God. <laughs> Adam, Adam, please stop this one. He might do a threesome with them too. It's not really a cuck situation. It's more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you're cool with it, then, you know, it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it, but everyone's different. Everyone have different levels of, how do I say, mental maturity. Well, it would be kind of weird for you to find a dude bigger than you. Maybe they could resurrect Andre the Giant or something. Maybe you could get Brock Lesnar to come through and cut it up for you. But, I mean, you're kind of like the biggest dude that I could think of. I don't know. It's going to be... You know, I saw some guys on it. No, I don't do that, Adam. Don't get into a threesome with Jason Love, bro. There's no coming back from that. That will get numbers. This, Adam, uh, man. I pray for you, bro. I really do. I can't imagine... Like, I understand all the theatrics on Twitter and all that. I get, like, you know, leaning into it because people are taking the piss. DJ Academics is doing play-by-play -play commentary on your girl getting piped. I, I get that. I get why you're responding that way. I just hope behind closed doors you're doing okay. And I, I mean that sincerely. Yeah. That is, that's a crazy thing to allow your girl to do. But at the same time, you kind of did open the floodgates. Jason loved it for the first one, man. Jesus Christ. Go big or go home. Surprised Lena's not in crutches. 